this is the dress. Um. You ready? <laughs> What do you get? John and Kelly, and they're starting to sweat. It would have been nice if you were here to tell me oh all this while God. we were setting the up. Can Jane prevent a wedding jackknife? That's why I'm here. Or is this load headed for a bust? Ever been to a wedding when the bride doesn't show up? Get the stuff for the dress done yet? You don't seem to understand that you're out of town. I don't have the time to do this. With seven days to go, this wedding may be at the end of the line. Since we started planning the wedding, um, it seems like John's just gone crazy. <laughs> I don't think he's being very realistic about what I have to do during a daily basis. Every minute that I'm not working, I'm spending time with my kids. All right, Juggles, what do you have to say for yourself? I love everything about her. Her, her eyes, her hair, her smile. Come on, lose the sweet talk, keep it real. With the stress of the wedding, I've been kind of more snappy, I guess you could say, with everything. So I've been a bit more pushy on her to get certain things done. And because John's a long haul trucker, that means Kelly's driving solo on all the wedding plans. Planning it is kind of being put on the back burner because everything else is more important. And Kelly's back burner has got this truck driver steaming. That's the one thing that really stresses me out about her is that she has no sense of time when things gotta get done. Yeah, because she has all the time in the world. I can't do like five million things at once. I don't got two hands. Lucky, Jane's here to give you a hand and get this wedding into gear. She's hauled along three wishes to help steer it back on track and get the love back. Why are we meeting in here? Well, this, this is, is the where... hall. This is where we're doing everything. So give me everything you've got, Kelly. Uh, are you sure you want to do that, Jane? Yeah. That's why I'm here. OK. Three children. You've got three children? Yeah. I drive truck, so my job puts me out of the country on a regular basis. But oh, wait, here comes a mother load of their problems. What else? I still have to get the dress figured out yet. And the double load. Still have to pick out our rings. What have we got for this wedding? Nothing. And this is just overload. I've always dreamed about like a Cinderella type wedding. 10 4, Cinderella, hear you loud and clear. When I think of a wedding, I think the bride in her dress. Okay. Or more the train. I love the train. And I kind of told her that there'd be no wedding if there's no train. <laughs> really? Yep, a trucker who's into trains. Men dreaming about their wedding day is quite an unusual factor for me. But that's not the only thing that Cinderfella wants. I'm from Uganda, so there's a lot of heritage stuff that we want to get involved in the wedding as well. It's all too much for one wedding planner to take in. I now have so much information, all right? So leave that with me, and I'll go right aboard. Uh, Jane, you OK? But she steps on the gas and goes in hot pursuit to pull these wedding delinquents over. License and registration, please. Wow. Oh, wow. Big plan. Now Kelly can see what I've been trying to tell her this whole time of how much stuff needs to get done. Sure, blame it on her. You've got a lot to do in a very short space of time. You haven't got a wedding dress. It might need altering. So for you to feel a million dollars walking down that aisle, Kelly, you've got to go and buy one. It's not that I can't get it done, it's I need time to get it done. Ignorance of the law is no excuse, ma'am. Rings. Oh, we haven't got any. Kelly, she's a full-time mum. Her calendar is rather jam-packed. To add in a wedding with 160 people in the next six days, tell me how she's going to do that. Uh, can she call a lawyer? The two of you? Can't get a week's break without the children, which I'm sure you would love. <laughs> love. <laughs> I see that as critical to this, that you enjoy the two of you being together, your special time. Well, it looks like they're getting off with just a warning. I can give you three wishes. It's crunch time, basically. You got that right. So with five days to go, crunch time for Kelly means actually getting a dress. There's lots of nice dresses here. I just can't make up my mind.
I'm really not into it at all. I'm thinking about the kids and where I gotta be next. I gotta go. So Kelly is no further ahead. And now, she and John are about to go down that same old road. Hello? Hi. What's going on? You got any of that stuff done? I don't have the time to do this. Can you guys just settle down, please? We seriously have to get this stuff done, otherwise this wedding's never gonna bloody happen. When do you expect me to go and do things? Well, I'm just saying, you're there and I'm over here. Fine, whatever. Bye. And with less than five days to go, this wedding needs to keep on trucking. So John puts on the brakes and gets on the horn. Hi, Jane. Hello, John. I'm just calling about Kelly's dress. Oh, I'm freaked out. Oh. She doesn't have her dress, and I keep calling her, and she's not getting it done. Yeah, if you could take care of that for me, that would be great. I can do that. This I don't understand. I can go and help Kelly find a wedding dress. Does she want a wedding dress? So Jane gives her a call to find out. I really can't answer that right now. Hmm, why not? Oh. It's been crazy. I've been going nonstop all day. It's 9 o'clock now. I don't even want to make myself dinner. It's like this every time John goes away, and then he wants me to do everything else on top of it. It's cool. Persistence, Jane. Persistence. But when it comes to shopping in Jane, you cannot escape. Hello? Hello? Gotcha. So the next day, after Kelly drops her kids off at the babysitters, Jane hauls her off to her main destination. So if you could wear anything on your wedding day, what would you be most comfortable in? Uh, track pants. <laughs> Ooh, classy dame. I'm kind of more of a tomboy and not used to dresses, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking for that, too. I've seen Cinderella. I don't know if it's going to be that way. I'm hoping it does. This is a challenge. Well, get going, girls. John doesn't want a train wreck. Well, they're beautiful dresses, but they're just not me. Because they're not made of stretchy cotton? All right, Jane, you got to keep looking. And luckily, Jane's magic fingers found just the right one. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. How does that feel? nice. This dress is very Cinderella. You're not feeling like a tomboy in this, are you? No. I'll tell you one thing it has got. <laughs> a long train. It's got the biggest train you could ever wish to have. It's just fabulous. I'm really glad John made me do this. I kind of feel more like a bride now. <laughs> we have a winner. That should get John's motor running. I felt like I was at a ball. Yay, dress done. Nice work, Lady Jane. But Trucker John's in from his long haul, and he wants to weigh in on the rest of the load. So what's left that we have to do in the wedding, Uh, we have to pick up the flowers. The cake's done. Oh, yeah. I thought the flowers were getting delivered. Oh, maybe, I guess. Well, you planned that, so... Yeah, and I you left it with know. you, because I got, I got to take off later on today, because I'm not going to be able to get anything else done, so... I need the wedding rings. Oh, yeah, the rings. So you haven't looked into that yet, or...? No. We were supposed to do that when you were here. Yeah, well, we haven't exactly had time to get that done now, have we? No. It's been crazy, just outright crazy. and Everything's possibly that can go wrong is going wrong. It just pushes a lot, so it's kind of nerve wracking. And it's just driving me crazy. I've already told you, just pick out a band that you like, find something matching to it, and we'll call it a day. I mean, what else do you want me to do? We'll just go without the rings in the first place. Then. We get into a lot of fights about it, and just it drives both of us nuts. I guess that's up to me to figure out the rings then. I guess that's what you're saying. What, would you, what else do you want me to do? Thanks for leaving me with all the stuff to do and putting one more thing on my plate. I'm not going to be able to get it all done, I don't think. Your shot. Excuse me. Hello? It's Kelly. Yeah, um, I just found out that John was supposed to do the rings and he hasn't done them yet. So what sort of rings do you want? Well, I was thinking of something, like, unique. Let me have a think about that, then. Unique wedding rings. 
Uh, unique. How do you reinvent a ring? Well, Jane's gonna have to think outside the jewelry box on this one. Meanwhile, John and Kelly are still in the boxing ring. When John gets home, can you do this? Can you do that? And it's just driving me crazy. John's become a total different person. He's become kind of a Grimzilla type thing, just barking orders. So nothing's done, pretty much. I would not consider myself as a Grimzilla. She seems Grimzilla. to think so. I am not. He's a Grimzilla. No. Yeah, I just like detail, that's all. Yeah. Sure, thanks for saying hi. Hi. He thinks that it'd be easy um, if he was the stay-at-home dad. Don't worry, Kelly, because looks like Jane's found the picture-perfect solution to take a load off your wedding problems. Because she's got the 1020 on some unique wedding rings. Wow, tattoo shop. Yep. Hey, you wanted unique. The new craze is tattoo wedding bands. And I'm going to introduce you to my friend, Randy. OK, great. He's still trying to convince me to have a tattoo. <laughs> great. Nice. Randy. So who wants to go first? Well, surely the big, strong truck driver, right? I guess I'll go first. Oh, for John, I guess it's ladies first. Kelly, are you sure about this before we go in for the kill? Are you? I'm good. Ready? That's right, Kelly. You show John who the stronger sex is. How are you doing? Good. Ow! Mother! No jerk movements. Is that That's it? it? Well done. You made it. That's it? Yay. That's it. Wow. Look that wasn't so bad, now was it? Talk Thanks. to the hand, John. Talk to the hand. Round two. Deep breath, deep breath. It didn't go through labor three times. Men wouldn't do it. We actually wouldn't have any children in the yeah. world if men had to do it. They I wouldn't be able would, to. I could do it. Just sure you could, Big Daddy. <laughs> Piece of cake, right, man? That I got for it, so you can do it. That's it, John. Breathe. Breathe deeply. That's it, John. Almost there. And breathe. And in. And out. You did it! Who's a big boy? Funky, edgy, and you can't lose them down the drain. John and Kelly really love each other and they're very committed to each other. How could you not be when you're having something so permanent tattooed on for life? So the next day, with only one day to go, the couple is ready to jump through their final hoop, their wedding rehearsal. OK, that means you two. You girls go out there. But it's not long before they're up to their old tricks. How many extra all, whites? All I'm using is two reds on the head use, table. Why don't you guys use one red, okay. and I'll diamond it in the front of your two seats. OK, but fine. That sounds good. Okay. Then we've right. got three extra reds. I just want to relax and enjoy the day tomorrow. I want to be a bride. And I have so much to do right now. It's just impossible. No, I was just so making it look, different from. Throw on an extra white one. I don't care. You're the one that set up all the linens and ordered the linens. I'm just putting them on the damn tables. Are you see, it would have been nice if you were here to tell me oh all this while we were God. setting this up. It's all right. You guys are allowed to get stressed out. You're going to no, get fine. Just what the hell is what we doing with the red ones? There is no communication at this point right now. We're just at each other's throats, so just trying to get through it. I don't care. I don't want you to have a late night tonight. This is what I don't want. Yeah, right. but that's what we're going to have. Right. <laughs> Everything do. is pretty much done. I've taken care of the tables. I've taken care of the chairs. Yeah? All we need to do is put up some tool or teal, whatever the hell you call it. Yeah, honestly, and then I we're done. Sleep well, that's Why? your prerogative. Why? I'm planning on getting a good night's sleep. I can't sleep right now. <sighs> well, what are you worried about? Everything. What? Well, then talk about Tell it. Tell it now. This I'm is it now. This like, is it. This is not what they am. Envisioned? Well, you You're running around you. like a chicken with your head off is not helping anything. Tell me what you want, and we can make it happen. That's right. But unless you say, Kelly. I can't do anything unless you bloody talk to me. And this condescending tone is a problem. How am I being right condescending? Now. He's desperate for you I'm to tell him. I'm just trying to know what the hell is in your head. It's teamwork. As of That's tomorrow, all I want. Just you're talk a team. To me. You're marrying this guy tomorrow who's yeah. desperately trying to help you. 
Sometimes I get the feeling that we just don't even know why we're getting married in the first place. It's treating me like f right now. It's all like beautiful and everything. It's just, it's being too pushy. <laughs> Not now. What do you have to do? Nothing. We can't do it. <sighs> Ever been to a wedding when the bride doesn't show up? This could be it. <laughs> when it comes to their fairy tale wedding, John and Kelly are miles apart. Well, Jane's brought in three wishes to help bridge the gap. For wish one, Jane got all bibbidi-bobbidi-boo on Cinderella's dream dress. Oh, this is gorgeous. For wish two, Jane left an indelible impression with some unique wedding rings. It's crucial. She didn't look painful, but it was well worth it. And for wish three, well, if they could put the brakes on their fighting, they might actually have one. There's no communication at this point right now. We're just at each other's throats, so just trying to get through it. I'm good. We're just... Did it? Just not talking, that's all. Oh, hopefully tomorrow we'll feel better. It's not about, like, me just being another person helping out. It's about me being a bride tomorrow. Well, Jane knows there's only one way to keep this wedding on the road to success. She's ready to go hog wild for the last wish. When was the last time you took a break? I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> like, two years ago, maybe? Somewhere around there, yeah. Well, that's why... I think it's so important that the two of you spend some time together before the wedding. And mm -hmm. I, I actually wrote in there that you should take some time out for the two of you, but I right. knew that that was always going to be hard. Right. Knowing that you wouldn't do this, I mean, that, that to me was, you know, high in the sky. So I've, <laughs> I've actually, well, I've taken over your wish. Oh. So Jane's made a wish on their behalf. Way to go, Jane. I don't usually do babysitting. But this, to me, is so important. I've organised something that I think you'll enjoy so that you actually enjoy spending some time together. But I know you love bikes. I do. So, want my bike? <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> OK. So Jane has planned a whole day of activities for the couple in crisis. And the little kids, hmm, how hard could they be? Bye. <laughs> OK. Now the fun begins. It sure does, because John and Kelly are off for a romantic day in a storybook location. That's awesome. Hello there. Welcome to Inniskillen. Jane has something special planned for you. And something special for those three little bears to keep them nice and calm. To the lovely couple. It's been a long time since these two have been spoiled like this. But speaking of spoiled, Jane, you knew there was a reason they needed time away from these little rugrats, didn't you? Oh, and she forgot that with ice cream in their veins, kids chew and spit out adults. I'm not having a good time. I'm looking after three kids here, and I'm tearing my hair out. I don't do babysitting. Hello? Where was this in the job description? Well, at least it looks like this wish has done its magic on John and Kelly. That was what they needed, was time together to enjoy each other and not talk about the wedding. And here's your room. Enjoy oh, wow. your night. Ooh, very nice. Thank and you. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> I wonder if Jane's having this much fun. Oh, Jane's got it all under control. And as they walk off into the sunset, so go ahead, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Today's the day of John and Kelly's final stop, and the bride and her girls are trucking along nicely with some last minute preparations. I'm not a makeup person. John better appreciate this. With a few baby bumps along the way. Hey, can we not play with that, please? That's not to play with, go put it back. Today doesn't feel much better, actually. I'm still going crazy. I have like half an hour left to get ready. So I gotta do what I need to do. <laughs> do we have a needle and thread? No. What are you talking about? Let's think about how much time we have. What time is it? Not much. Not much, huh? What time is it? Ah, uh, take a load off, Kel. The way things are going, you're gonna be the first one there. Because all the guests at this wedding need a little push. At one point, I was wondering whether there was gonna be a wedding today. Everybody was so late. 
I'm absolutely excited to see Kelly's dress, just because there's been so much time and effort put into it. I'm just really happy to, and excited to see what she picked out and what it's going to look like. I'll go and find the bride. It's 45 minutes late. Is everybody's watch on a different setting to mine? Because I thought I was here for a one o'clock wedding. So after all the missing freight arrives, the ceremony gets rolling. Hey, Cinderfella, there's your dress. I, John, take you, Kelly, to be my wife. I, Kelly, take you, John, to be my husband. My constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love. In the presence of God, my family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow. To be your partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad. I promise to love you unconditionally, to laugh with you and cry with you. To honor and respect you and to cherish you. As long as this queen foot shall live. I therefore proclaim that you are now husband and wife. In the name of God the Father, amen. Wait. <laughs> Now you may have your first kiss as husband and wife. <laughs> Kelly in her dress. Goodness me, what a picture. Didn't she transform from that tomboy who wanted to wear track pants? into the most beautiful bride walking down that aisle. It's absolutely the dress that I've always dreamt about. It's, she looks amazing, the dress looks amazing, and everything's just perfect. Ah, uh, everything is picture perfect, but for Jane and the couple to get there, it's been a long haul. John and Kelly are devoted to each other. They have three beautiful children, ready-made family, and from today, I wish them every happiness. Having Jane here really helped out a lot. Like, otherwise, it probably yeah. wouldn't have gotten done. Yeah. Thanks, Jane. Thank you, Jane. And now it's time to party Ugandan style. Where about it? Where about it? Just, I thought you were just saying. Just saying.